our powers within our books so, you so as that the they governor, can be able to follow and recover the money and take it back and bring it back to Kilifi. So you as a governor, you distance yourself from this uh, particular scandal. You are no way uh, you know, involved in it. My involvement with this matter is for purposes of recovering this money. That is my involvement All right. the, in this matter. All right. Thank you so much for your you. time. Uh, Emerson Kingi, Kilifi Governor, here on Friday Briefing. All right. Let's continue with our coverage. And uh, we are asking you on our big question tonight, something that is related uh, to this uh, latest uh, scandal. And we're asking you, do you believe the explanation given by the Kilifi Governor on the scandal? We'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, he has explained that the senior officials who uh, were involved uh, have been asked to step aside, which they have. And so we are asking you, do you believe this explanation that he's been able to talk about this evening um, in regards to this uh, scandal? Tweet me at Betty M. Kialo, use the hashtag Friday Briefing, and then we'll be taking a look at your responses throughout the show this evening. All right, to the NYS saga, and Elgeo Marquette Senator Kipchumba Murkomen is fighting back following the latest allegations that he benefited from the NYS scandal. The senator now wants former Devolution CS Anwai Guru charged in court. Murkomen is under pressure to explain the role of his law firm that is said to have received 5 million shillings of NYS fans. Patrick Amimo has more. Murkomen's statement comes amid public pressure for the senator to come clean on the NYS saga after former CS Anwai Guru adversely mentioned him and Farouk Kibet and aide to Deputy President William Ruto. I do not know whether one Gwai Guru is guilty, but the facts that have been presented on the table is enough for Anwai Guru to stand trial and be charged in a court of law. If she is not going to be charged for the corruption of NYS, we could as well legalize corruption in this country. Waiguru said Farouk Kibet was a close associate of Ben Gavi and made constant communications at the time the CID was investigating the scandal and that Farouk received a benefit of 1 million shillings from the deal. Murkomen's law firm is accused of having received 5 million shillings of the contentious NYS funds from one of the companies under investigation out of the box solutions. The network is intricate. The manner in which every witness who has come before this committee has been at pains to try and link me to their actions is telling. They have not given any concrete evidence in the form of a signed letter, phone records, or a text message. They are clearly working under a very powerful instructor or instructors or puppeteers, and I hope that this committee finds out who those are. Yeah, she's like Jezebel in the Bible. She's impudent and shameless. Where Na wewe ulikuwa unasimamia pale. Mwenzako mwenye mlisaidia na pamoja kubeba hiyo pesa, amesha sema nilikubebea kwa gunia, nikakuletea. Sasa unafika kamati ya bunge, unasema hapana sio mimi, wakili ya huyo alikuwa anaitwa Murkomen. Alilipwa pesa. If you know even a single cent, even a dime, even 50 cent, nililipwa na Ben Gedi, ama nililipwa na Josephine Kabura come tomorrow to the public and present that report because the person you are accusing is saying we were not paid as a law firm even a single cent. The Elgeo Marakwet legislator has not appeared before the Parliamentary Public Accounts Committee but was allowed to submit written submissions about the allegations. Clearly Kafura is a puppet. She picked on me for the simple reason that she must have been told by the puppeteer to pick